Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna do something really cool. I've never seen anybody do anything like this before. We're gonna use two VSAT terminals at the exact same time. And we're gonna make a phone call from one to the other. They're right next to each other, but the trip is gonna be close to 90,000 miles. We're gonna go from one antenna up to a satellite way out in space, 22,300 miles out in space, return to Earth, but we're going to come down in Argentina to a teleport, which is going to basically reroute the call back up to another satellite, and we're going to come back down on the other antenna. As I said, total trip, we're going to be doing about 90,000 miles. The delay is going to be interesting um, compared to what we had before. So stick around, guys. This should be interesting. So a little rundown of what we got going on here. Uh, both of these equipment racks, one is running the Norsat, the other one is running the Seacom antenna. Um, as you see, they look almost identical, and actually they pretty much are. Each one is equipped with a new tech news media modem um, and an analog telephone adapter with two lines um, and network ports. Those network ports over here would be used for the news crews, uh, internet equipment, and also for their streaming video encoder. And I actually have one, and I'll show you what that's all about. We uh, do not have the bandwidth to actually stream video at five megabits per second, which is what they would be using. But we have enough bandwidth uh, to make a phone call, and we're gonna do that. And uh, something really interesting I got here that came with this kit. This is uh, the audio box and it does connect with a phone line. And uh, basically, on the side here, you've got uh, an XLR here. This is return audio from the phone line. That is going to the reporter's earpiece so he can hear the newsroom and get updates. They call that the IFB. On the right, we have <clears throat> two different mic inputs. Uh, if there's two reporters maybe talking to each other or they're interviewing somebody, uh, two mics might be used. So, and to make the call, obviously there is a dial. There is also an intercom on here, a speakerphone, which is really cool too. Um, this again is for the crew to be able to talk back to the station. And uh, on the side here is the mixer. Different, uh, allows them to do different levels. So, and there's also a telephone handset if you want to talk just like it's a regular telephone. Um, typically, yeah, they use two lines. One is for this box, and the other one, they may plug a, tele a second telephone set in uh, for communications. So basically, there you go, guys. That's how that works. And uh, we're gonna take some signal levels next. Okay, guys. The system is idle. It's got GPS acquisition. Now we're going to go for satellite acquisition. And we're going to do it. The push of a button here. There we go. Bang on, look at that. All automatic. Automatic satellite acquisition. We are now ready. This is great. <laughs> Man, that took like a minute. Not even a minute. This thing took me like a half an hour to aim. So there you go, guys. How cool is that? Okay guys, we are all set up. We are aimed, both antennas are aimed. We checked with the meter. And uh, the next thing to do is let's fire up the transmitters. So we're just gonna make our way over to the equipment rack. And uh, first we're gonna 
turn on that. Oh, we got to turn on both switches. Power, let's uh, power up these switches here and this buck as well. Wow, well, listen to that, guys. Two of them going at the same time. <laughs> Anyways, we'll uh, give it a couple of minutes for these modems to log in to the New Tech Dialog Hub and become operational. And uh, then we should be good. And then we're going to make some phone calls. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we are up and ready and operational on the satellite, on both satellites. And we're just going to take a quick look at uh, what we got here. This uh, orange box looks real dangerous. Let's open her up and see what this piece of equipment does. And oh, we have another telephone. This is the second telephone. And this is, yep, yeah, this is for the crew. Call the newsroom. Okay, we might just actually use that. That's so funny. Okay, we got uh, three blue lights there, three blue lights there. We can see we have green lights. Uh, all the lines are linked up. Let's, uh, you guys can hear that. I got a dial tone, so let's call. Let's call Lava Life. 416. Five five six six. I always use this for testing phone lines. Let's see if they answer. Oh, my call did not go through his dial. Let's try it again. It's ringing. <laughs> we'll have a life. Yeah, I'm a mail caller. I'll press one. There we go. Sounds really weird. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna hang up. We're gonna hang up on her. We don't like her. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. It's too noisy out here. I'm gonna let's wire this into the house. Stand by. Okay, guys, we are all set up and we are ready here. So let's just take a quick rundown. We've got uh, the white antenna here, the north sat. That one is aimed at uh, AR uh, SAT 2, and so is this antenna. Um, they may not look like they're aimed at the same direction, but they actually are. They are two different types of antennas. This one is actually aimed directly at the satellite because it's a prime focus antenna, and this one is an offset antenna. So it looks like it's aimed a bit lower, but it's actually bouncing the signal on an angle. So two styles of antennas, but the performance is actually the same. And uh, but this guy, of course, is a lot more compact, but this is actually a military antenna. I mean, that, I don't know if any military would want to use it. I mean, it is an old antenna, but uh, I certainly like this guy. So what I've done, because it's too noisy out here to hear what's going on, I, I rigged up, uh, put some RJ11 jacks on the ends of these cables. As you see, I've plugged in on two of the different lines. On So we have a line per satellite, and I wired that to an ethernet connector. So I'm using an ethernet cable, and we are bringing those two analog phone lines in to the house here. And I've done the same thing on this end. So we can take this and plug it in here and there you go we've got phone line in the house it's gonna be a lot quieter uh, doing that from inside and we need this guy we need this is the the nuclear the nuclear bunker phone <laughs> let's bring the nuclear bunker phone inside in case we have to call the, the president Whoa, okay okay okay
quiet down. Okay, now I'm gonna close this door and you're gonna see how much quieter it is. Okay, first order of business is to call the Dateline. <laughs> I, I just love using this, it's easy to remember. 416-778-5566, Lava Life. There we go. Still very unintelligible. Okay, so we'll hang up on her and let's plug in. Okay, hold on, guys. I got to stop a second and plug the phone in. Okay, guys, there we go. As you can see, everything is set up out there in the yard. And I've run two analog phone lines into the house through this cable here, which is right here, as you can see, coming through the door. And I split that out right there, and I have the blue is line one, and the orange is line two. You telephone guys probably understand that. So what I'm going to do is pick up this phone, and I have a dial tone. So I'm going to call 647 eight one two eight seven zero one and we're going to go ninety thousand miles and can you believe it that's a ninety thousand mile phone call hello hello hey hey i'm going ninety thousand miles wow that's insane this is a double hop over two satellites. I'm going from here to Argentina and all the way back over two satellites. And it actually sounds pretty good. Wow. One, two, three. One. One. Wow, that, that's more than a second, eh? Let's see how much delay time that is. I'm gonna bring up the clock on my computer here. So let's time it. When it hits 30, I'm gonna say something. Mark. Mark. Oh, that's more than two seconds. Let's, let's check that again. <clears throat> Mark. Yeah, it took more than two seconds. More than two seconds delay to go, to go, to go where no man has gone before. <laughs> the fact that this actually works is just unbelievably cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Let's do that again. Mark. Mark. Yeah, more than that's about two and a half seconds. Yeah, more than that's two and a half seconds. Two and a half seconds. But you know you can still make it out. But you know you can still make it out. And I'm using G seven twenty nine on one satellite and 711U on the other. Okay, guys, so there you go. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hang up. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy as it gets. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Signing off.